ဟိုပြီးပြီးရောတိတ်မလာလမ်းရှောက်ဖြင့်ပြီးရောဆိုတာမျိုးအချိန်ဖြုန်းဆိုမျိုးရှောက်လို့လဲရတယ်အဲ
why someone will discuss rotary if why someone should join rotary club because there are different organization they are doing the charity work what is the difference between rotary and any other one thing i have been in myanmar from last 11 years one thing which make this country very different to any another country here people may be poor but they are the most generous in the world that's the reason i decided to live in this country because mostly people are happy in spite they may not have so many thing and i always believe happiness is a choice it does not depend only on money money is important in life but not everything in life so welcome miss hemama for today for our talk so now first i want to know please tell something about yourself and then we will go to our today topic and thank you so much ravindra you make me yeah uh, you uh, you make it sound like i'm so important i'm just an ordinary person uh, i've been an english teacher i've been uh, i've been a freelance english teacher as well as educator uh, for over 30 years but um i just regard myself as an english teacher one of the english teachers in yema and of course you know i mean i joined rotary in 2014 and i was the uh, i was one of the uh, past presidents of rotary club of yengo and in fact um i just don't really want to say it but of course i think i need to give support to my um uh, my uh fellow uh, women rotarians and as well as some other friends who are uh women that i i became the first uh female uh rotary uh president in rotary um, in my history so i take pride in that it's not because i became the president the first female president in rotary club of yango or rotary in my history it's just to show that we women can uh equally we are equally capable as men that's what i wanted to show and that's i i have always wanted to show so ravindra if you really don't mind because i don't really know what the uh, the audience are like probably they are english speaking or probably they are burmese speaking so sometimes i would be speaking in burmese and sometimes i would be speaking in english but depending on how uh, things go so uh, the audience and if they want to ask me some questions can they ask me some questions in burmese or uh, can you just explain to me a little bit before i start ravindra okay they can ask they can make a comment on a comment section they can ask english in question in english or myanmar language and after your presentation i will ask few question which mostly member like today i have discussed with my two friends so they they may be our prospective person who would like to join rotary so they they may be having some doubt if they don't ask then on behalf of them i will ask question so now Thank please you. share your screen please share Thank your you. screen so i'll start sharing the screen yeah can you see it now yes yes i can see now you can go ahead okay so <clears throat> first of all i just want to start with you know i mean before we start talking about because my topic today is why someone would join rotary so uh, even to start with rotary a lot of people may not really know what rotary is or what rotary international is so i just want to give a very brief a uh, background information about what rotary international is about so um bamalo pyome so in rotary international ga chamaro sima totoli mati de o bono tik ba cha bu re ha myo phit de twe chama rotary international ye background information ni o chama ne ne pyo pya ba me aro ma pi ro ma rotary ba cha rotary club of rotary club to khu go ba cha join lok tin ma le so chama set lo ba me so rotary international as you can see you see the uh the the logo there so it is rotary comes from the word rotate it means from rotating just going from one to the other so that's kind of a rot ro rotary so everyone will be actually just taking the responsibility 
in by rotating the responsibility. That's what it is about. Uh, I will explain to you a little bit more about how uh, Rotary International came into being. So this is the Rotary Interna International logo. And then we would see, uh, you see four gentlemen there, and then we will call them founders of Rotary International. So Rotary uh, be, uh, got founded in 1905 with uh, these four gentlemen. They are the fathers of Rotary, Rotary's fathers, I would say. So just briefly, I'm just telling you, uh, you might want to know, you might not want to know, but at least when we talk about Rotary, we cannot forget these four gentlemen. And these four gentlemen, they are um, professionals, and I, I'm not really very sure who is an engineer. They are, um, they, are, they are engineers, and then they are also professionals, business people, and four of them, and they, they started founding this Rotary International, Rotary, Rotary International, to give help to the community with what they know, with their knowledge, with their skill set, et cetera. That is the, um, that is the very, very, very first, uh, their ultimate goal is to give back to the community. So what is Rotary? Before we go on to talk about, because now Rotary International, every one of you, uh, by now you know that it is an organization. So before we talk about what kind of organization it is, we cannot forget about Rotary's motto. So then you will understand more about what Rotary is. So Rotary's motto is service above self. So we put others first. And we believe that we will be giving, uh, we will be volunteering our service in a very selfless way. And then we are giving our service back to the community. So starting with service above self, and you know there is a motto, service above self, so you know exactly how selfless Rotarians are. So that is the motto, that is the beauty of Rotary. So first of all, Rotary is a non-political. Non-political as in, once we become a Rotarian, we won't be biased about politics. And non-religious, once we become a Rotarian, we won't be biased about any religious faith. And we do not, discriminate on the basis of gender or race, ethnicity, skin color, religious belief, national origin, creed, or any sexual orientation. So Rotary is an organization based on all these things. So Rotary International, oh, what is happening? So Rotary International, is an international service organization, as I explained earlier. So the purpose is to bring together business people, professional leaders, and the main reason is to give back uh, to the community with humanitarian services. And at the same time, we want to encourage high ethical standards. And in all vocations and encouraging goodwill as well as peace, around the world. So that is the main purpose of what Rotary International is about. So we, as Rotarians, we may be professionals, business people, entrepreneurs, and educators, scientists, with our skill set, with the knowledge that we have, we are sharing with, we are sharing our knowledge and what we know to the people in the community. So that is what Rotary International is mainly about. So how many Rotary clubs are there? How many Rotarians are there in the whole world? There are about 35,000 Rotary clubs around the world. And with 530 districts, we call it districts. And then these districts are organized into 34 regional zones. And I will explain to you a little bit more with the illustration. So there are about 1.2 million Rotary Club members who are called Rotarians around the world. 
So as you can see in the illustration there, so first Rotarian. Rotarian would belong to the Rotary Club. And Rotary Club would be under Rotary District. And Rotary District would be under Rotary Zone. And then we are under Rotary International. So it is a big organization. It's a beautiful organization with all the, um, the, the motto, with the motto service above self. And then we are giving services with our knowledge, with our uh, skill set, and that is what Rotary is about. Then you might ask, okay, you're talking about, we, I've been talking about services, services, service, what kind of services Rotary uh, focuses on. So there are, there used to be only six areas of focus, but now we have uh, seven areas of focus to start with, and we have the peace building and conflict prevention. So what kind of services do we give? We give scholarships, Rotary districts, Rotary zones or Rotary International, even the Rotary Club can sponsor people who would like to specialize in uh, peace building. And then people do get scholarships. There are a lot of uh, peace scholars all over the world. So that, and there are of course terms and conditions. And then after attending, after getting the scholarship, after attending the training, the degree, and they would just give back to the community. So that is first thing. And another one is mother and child healthcare. So it's really very important. So especially in underprivileged um, regions and then also for underprivileged people and <clears throat> less fortunate people, mother and child health care in some areas can be very, very low. So we also do projects to give a lot of help to health care, uh, help assistance to mother and child health care improvement. And another thing is very basic thing, which is about uh, water sanitation and hygiene. So we do clean water projects. And then afterwards is about disease prevention. For example, like now, uh, COVID and uh, and polio and then any other disease prevention that what Rotary is very much um, uh, ve very much uh, we we put our emphasis and we put our focus on that as well and then another one we do not forget about education is one of the necessities in life so basic necessities of life is to get education. So we also try to give educational program, for example, like uh, in the underprivileged areas or maybe in remote areas. So we give teachers training at monastic schools, et cetera. So that's what we do. And then education, health, yes, that's, that's important. And we should not forget about just helping the community with some vocational trainings so that they can make their own living, they can stand on their own with their own living. Because as we say, um, uh, we actually, instead of giving fish, we should teach people how to fish. So what we do is that we try to give them the training and we try to uh, get, we try to give them the opportunity so that they can make their own living. That is what Rotary is about. So there used to be only six areas of focus, but very recently now, environmental issues are really very much important in the world. So now, starting from this year, Rotary is going to support environment. So uh, environment as in not just only planting trees and not just only, uh, you know, uh, uh, about the uh, everything about environment, global warming, because we should be educating people. Because if we do not, as Rotarians, if we do not uh, care about our own world, and how are we going to give help to the community? So this is Rotary's seven areas of focus. All right, so this is a very brief uh, explanation about what Rotary is about. That's what we do. So now, I have given the explanation about what Rotary is about, brief explanation, but still, you might still be wondering, okay, it is, the motto is service above self. It is a non-political, it is uh, non-religious, and that it doesn't really, it doesn't discriminate and uh, gender and belief and faith and any others, but why do I need to join Rotary? So now, you might be just 
wondering, okay, the presentation is uh, the presentation has gone to this far. Why do I need to join Rotary? Why do I care? So first thing, to join Rotary, the main thing is to make friends with one another. Why do I say with to make friends with one another? Fellowship, friendship. Because only as friends, only when we, as friends, when we are together, uh, we will be like like-minded people. So how we want to help other people, because sometimes, uh, if we want to do something, maybe we have some limitations. When we work together with friends, then you know we can actually broaden. Uh, you know we can actually make our projects. We can implement our projects even bigger. So that's one reason. And at the same time, we can share our ideas. We can exchange our ideas. So that's what Rotary's uh, initial uh, uh, goal is about. So. And then as you can see in the picture, every year there is a Rotary convention in respective countries. So last year, 2020, and it was supposed to be in Hawaii just because of COVID-19 and it had to be canceled. But every year in respective countries, there would be Rotary convention where about 50,000 Rotarians meet. So there we exchange about how uh, which Rotary clubs um, are doing what kind of projects and how we can help the other. So developed countries, rot Rotary clubs from developed countries, and then they can also just try to share ideas with the uh, Rotary clubs from developing countries. So we can exchange. So this is mainly about fellowship. So we exchange ideas. We actually just try to talk about how we can help the people. So once you become a Rotarian, Wherever Rotary Clubs are, you can visit any Rotary Clubs in the world without being invited. And at the same time, you are a Rotarian. Once you become a Rotarian, you belong to this Rotary group. So it's kind of like one family. So you want to go somewhere and then you get some difficulty somewhere and then you can actually just try to find a rotary club in the region and you can just make a phone call and then you can just tell them okay you are you are a member from which rotary club you need what kind of help there is always trust me there is always always uh somebody to help you out so that's the beauty of rotary so the first thing is even though it's about the service it's about fellowship in rotary we try to make friends. For example, like even Ravindra and myself, if I had never been in Rotary, if Ravindra had never been in Rotary, we would have never met. In Rotary, we meet and we become friends. And every day we have the Viva group, we will be sharing messages. So fellowship is mainly about. So if you, if you want to make friends with people from uh, overseas, internationally, you want to broaden your network, that's what Rotary is about. So please think about Rotary. And then, okay, fellowship. You can make friends internationally. So what? And also, because you get new friends all over the world, and even though you may not really be using Rotary to do your business for your self-benefit, you get a lot of business contacts because Rotary is made up of business people, entrepreneurs, and also educators, scientists, as I explained earlier. So you can get business contacts and you can also and develop uh, professionally. Even though, for example, like myself, I am an educator. So when I join Rotary, when I go to Rotary conferences, when I go to Rotary meetings, I get to know people from different respective fields. Some are doctors, some are engineers, some are scientists, some are business people. So that's how we can get to know each other. So what I do not know, they may know. What I know, they may not know. So it's really about sharing business knowledge and sharing professional skill set. So that is one reason that you should be thinking about joining the Rotary. For example, like you may be a doctor and then you join Rotary and not just only uh, 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 you get to know more about some of the doctors in your club. You can get to know some other clubs, 
some other doctors from other clubs. So that's what Rotary is about. So you have you can broaden your business, business as in business contacts, and then you can also uh, broaden your professional contacts. So fellowship, and then you can broaden your network, and then you can also broaden your business contacts and professional contacts. So, and then in Rotary, because uh, some people tend to think that, oh, Rotary is for the elite, for the wealthy, for the rich. I am just going to say no to that assumption. We as Rotarians, because we are far more fortunate than a lot of people in the community, with our skill set, with our knowledge, with what we have, we are sharing our knowledge. We are sharing our time. We are sharing even our money and to help the people, not just donating things only. We are giving what we know and to the community. So in the community, we are leading the community with what we know, sharing. So we develop also our leadership skills. At the same time, we provide leadership skill to the community. So now fellowship, business and professional contacts and develop leaderships. So please think about something to give back to the community, those three things. So if you think that one of them um, probably um, maybe something that you are interested, even then you should start thinking about joining the Rotary Club. And then another thing is that a lot of people, some of my friends who are not Rotarians just ask me, oh yes, Rotary, Rotary Clubs meet um, almost uh, every week or every other week, and this is for the rich. I always say that. If it is for the rich, I wouldn't be in a Rotary Club. I'm not too rich. I am, and I admit I'm comfortable, but I'm not too rich. So if I can be in the Rotary Club, you can be in the Rotary Club as well. But in Rotary, of course, you know, I mean, we uh, we try to give what we know, we give back to the community. So Rotary would sound important, I admit. So it is also for the prestige. So prestige as in, it's not that it is the elite club, it is the exclusive club. Elite, the rich, the, uh, the exclusive, these words are not right to describe what Rotary is about. You give your time, you give your efforts, and then one thing I want to tell you is that uh, all Rotarians, and we are pure volunteers, we don't draw any salary, and we are giving our time, our efforts, our energy, and even donating our money. So prestige as in we are nice people. Rotary is made up of nice people. So prestige means our reputation. We are Rotarians are nice people. So when you become a Rotarian, your reputation would be like you are a nice person. So that is the prestige that I want to uh, tell you about. Prestige not for the position and not for the title and not for your words or anything. Prestige as in you are a nice person. All right. So Rotary International, and as you have seen, and there are about 1.2 million members in the world. So of course, and there are some uh, rules and regulations, even in a family or even in your, uh, your business com uh, company or at your work. Without rules and regulations, how are you going to make it work? It's going to be chaos. So we do have rules and regulations. Again, these rules and regulations are actually not really big rules and regulations, very, very simple. First thing, don't be politically biased. Because if you're politically biased, politics, you know, usually divide people. So then you are a Rotarian. When you become biased politically, then you're not a true Rotarian. And another thing, yes, you are religious, uh, you have the, you, you have bias, uh, religious beliefs, then it's going to be against Rotary's uh, first goal, which is actually, it is a non-religious. 
So when you religion can also sometimes when you become too extreme about religious belief, it can divide people as well. So first thing, you're not going to be politically biased. Secondly, you're not going to be religiously biased. The third thing is you won't be using rotary for your advantage. Only those three things. So if you do not do those three things, rotary is for you. So for that, and just like any other organization, we actually, we encourage high ethical standards with our four-way tests. So first thing is that, first thing, is it the truth? So even what I'm saying right now, is it the truth? Even if I'm just telling you lies right now, and you won't know whether I'm lying or not, but I know myself I'm lying. So is it the truth? You ask yourself, whatever you do, whatever you say, is it the truth? So that is what Rotary is about. Is it the truth? And then you are going to do some projects, some plans to help the community. Is it fair to the uh, fair to all concerned? So fairness, first the truth. The second thing, fairness. Are you actually just being prejudiced? Are you being biased? You ask yourself, is it fair to you or is it fair to your other members or is it fair to the community? The third thing, so is it going to build goodwill and a better friendship? Like Rotary is about fellowship and friendship. Whatever you say, whatever you do, your actions, your words. Is it going to divide people? Is it going to uh, breed hatred? Is it going to breed hostility? And is it going to damage friendship? Just ask yourself. And then the last thing, whatever you do, is it beneficial to all concerned? When I'm saying here about benefit me, not for self-benefit, but it is benefiting as a community. So for these four things, and you ask yourself, so it's not just only in Rotary, it makes you a good person, high, um, you, it makes you have high ethical standards. So it makes you a very good human being. So that is one reason that when you become a Rotarian and you have these high ethics in you, so that is why there is prestige your reputation as a person even if you may be you may be uh, uh you may be a ceo or you may be uh, somebody you may be the president of a rotary club but you are a nice person you will be known as a nice person so that is what rotary is about so now you i have um my presentation i have uh, i have got to this much presentation and then i want you to just think about any of them that I have mentioned so far, I have talked about so far, any of them actually just um, uh, strikes you, oh yeah, I might be interested. I might not be interested, start thinking about it. But I'm just telling you that, is it the truth? I am telling you the truth because I believe in Rotary because this is the beauty of Rotary. So, okay, you talk about service at first. Yes, with Rotary, we help the people. So you, if you have the desire to give back, to be involved with the community services, when there is going to be a natural disaster, Rotary is going to be there. When there is going to be some kind of like COVID, Rotary is going to be there. Flood, Rotary is going to be there. And is there is going to be some kind of a, a conflict areas, you know, I mean, people need uh, some basic necessities as Rotarian, and then you really want to help together with the group, then Rotary is for you. So community. So when you say community, oh, um, am I going to be involved only helping my local people? No. And Rotary means you having the desire to do good in the world. So for example, like some of the Rotary clubs in developed countries, and then because uh, like our country, our country is a developing country. So of course we have 
a lot of needs and some people, they have a lot of basic needs. So develop Rotary Clubs from other countries, other developed countries, and they can just come and just do something good together with us, together with the local clubs. So when you become a Rotarian, you are not just helping locally, you can also help anywhere in the world where the, the needs are. It could be clean water, it could be education, it could be uh, uh, health care pro uh, uh, programs, so anything. So if you have the desire to be involved in, uh, in your community, and if you have the desire to do good in the world, so Rotary is for you. So, and still, oh, there is no fun about Rotary. You talk about, okay, Hema, you talk about friendship, you talk about fellowship, you talk about being good with ethics, and you talk about uh, helping the community. So I'm not really just that kind of a person, but I want to help people, but at the same time, I want to have fun. Yes, Rotary is all about fun because you know we are in a club, so we meet and then we become like a family. So we do fun things. And with your club members, we go on a cruise sometimes and we make day trips sometimes and then we go and then we have some musical nights and Christmas and then Halloween nights. So by just doing that and we can have fun as well while serving the community and we strengthen our friendship. So road, when you become a Rotarian, Rotary, trust me and believe me, Rotary would become your second family like myself. You know, I don't even talk to my own brother every day, but all the time, you know, I am sending messages and then I get messages from my Rotary uh, members, other members, Rotary brothers and sisters, and every day, at least a message every day. So Rotary is your family. So there, you know, you're going to meet people with same interests. And then if you like music, there might be some other people who like music. We share ideas. And then when you need help, you can just actually tell your friends, okay, I want to, I, I have this, uh, this little problem and I don't know how to sort it out. And then, you know, you have, for example, like uh, you're building a house and then you need some uh, builder contacts and then you can just ask your friends. So it's just like your family. So that's what Rotary is about. So right now, and I have just talked to you about that's what Rotary is about. And you might think that, oh, yes, Rotary sounds important. So my belief is that, yes, it may sound a little bit important. Why is that? Because we are doing good things. So it should be important. But my motto is that, yes, you feel good when you are in the leadership, when you are helping the community when you are somebody to help the community. Yes, it's a nice feeling. But with this quote, I just want to say that, yes, it's a nice feeling to be important. It's nice to be important. But as a true Rotarian, what is more important is to be nice to one another, to others. So this is the quote that I really love because sometimes when we get to the position, when we get the position, when we get the title, we become overwhelmed by that position and that title and probably the degree. And sometimes we tend to forget about being nice to other people. But when you become a Rotarian, this essence is always with you. So you would really feel nice to be important at the same time, you will come to know that it is more important to be nice. Trust me, once you become a Rotarian, once a Rotarian, always a Rotarian, you will be a nice person. So now, are you quite ready to join Rotary? So just think about yourself. And if you have any questions, you can just ask me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hema, for your excellent presentation. So now I will ask question. Yes. Uh, my, my first question uh, is that, my first question is that, now? yeah, I already done. Okay. Yeah, so now my first question is that if someone want to join the Rotary, what are the qualification they need? 
uh, sorry, what are the, uh, can you just tell me again, please? Pardon? If, um, if someone would like to join Rotary, what are the eligibility criteria? What all need to be, they have, okay. what is their basic requirement? Okay, so when uh, when somebody wants to join Rotary, uh, even though money is not really the main issue, but we are helping the community, so we have to show our dedication. So first thing is that when you want to join the ro Rotary, any Rotary club, now we have seven Rotary clubs in Myanmar. So each and every club and has their own rule. So you've got to actually just get to know which Rotary Club you would like to join. So first thing is that you have to be financially uh, stable. I don't want to use the word strong. Only when you are financially stable, you want to help somebody else. So if you are not financially stable, you may not be able to help other people. So financially stable, so you must be uh, willing to give back to the community. So you must have the skill set. You can be a scientist. You can be an educator. You can be a professional. So because you are joining Rotary, because uh, I believe that with the desire to share your skill sets. So that is another thing that you've got to think about. And another thing is just have the, uh, the empathy towards the um, less fortunate people. But it is not really a requirement, but with as that essence, when you write, join Rotary, I think you will be able to work together with like-minded people. So the, faith, the first thing is that you've got to be financially stable and you should be, you should have your own skill set that you want to share with others. So that's, th those are the things. And then of course, uh, you know, depending on the club that you are joining, there will be rules and regulations. So you've got to just ask them how you can join them because there will be membership fees. Some club membership fees can be a little bit expensive, but why we, we have to take membership fees is that these uh, fees uh, we use for our community projects. So this is not just for us to share. This is not just for us to actually spend. This is for the community. So uh, you you need to be uh, financially stable, and you need to have some. Uh, you need to have your skill set, and then you need to be a professional. Okay. My next question is that Hema, you have been a president and governor. So when you were traveling to anywhere, you have to pay your own expenses. Rotary doesn't pay anything for any office bearer. This is true. That is true. That is true. Rotary is, as, as I said earlier, Rotary is actually, it's, um, it's very unselfish volunteering. So I am in Rotary because I really want to give my services. So I do not take any cent from the club because I am joining Rotary because I really want to give back to the community. I know that in Rotary, when I when I was the past president, you know, I mean, when I travel for the projects, I pay I paid my own because that is my contribution. So I do not because that's why Rotarians, as Rotarians, we don't we do not draw any salary, any cent, and even for the expenses, we do not actually just um, take any cent, even a cent from uh, Rotary Clubs or maybe from projects. That is true. Okay, my next question is that, how the Rotary Club is different to any another some club which are available in Myanmar? Why, what is the difference? Why it make the Rotary different to other some another organization? I don't want to <laughs> tell the name, but there are some other also. Organizations. Yeah, okay, so I, you know, I mean, it, it's it's not a difficult question, but I just don't, I, I want to be fair to everyone because I'm a Rotarian, so I have to be fair. But different clubs, different groups, different uh, uh, organizations, or maybe different, um, I would say, not clubs, you know, in Rotary is, we use the word club. So they have their own reasons. So some are fun clubs, some are mainly to, um, to, to broaden their business network and some actually maybe for purely prestige and um, you know like uh they want to take pride in the fact that uh, they can contribute how much but rotary is different in the sense that we help but we take pride in the fact that we as rotarians selflessly 
we are helping the people. And then Rotary doesn't really encourage only donation alone. Rotary encourages projects and then us to always think about projects which are sustainable. So not just giving money to the community. So we always, that's why we keep, I kept saying when I was doing the presentation that we share our skill set with others, those who are not as fortunate as we are. And but at the same time, we just want them to move on with the skill set that we give them. So uh, I would say that is the, um, that these are the differences about how Rotary is different from other probably uh, social clubs or maybe other groups. Okay, my next question is that, like you have been in Rotary Club around now six years, I have been there from last four years. Which are the major true achievement for Rotary, all Rotary Club together in Myanmar? What we have done, which you can say is a remarkable achievement for all Rotary in Myanmar, which is really okay. tangible and which we can proudly share as a Rotary Club. So with, uh, uh, you know, I mean, our club, it, our um, signature project, to start with our, our club, signature project is that emergency medical responder training. So I had that passion. So during my presidency, I, I, start, and I initiated that plan. And then the club was very much, um, you know, I mean, happy about, uh, happy about that. And then we train an free ambulance volunteers mm -hmm. with the internationally standard uh, training. Give, we gave them, we gave as, you know, we sponsored them. So now people who are now helping the COVID patients this year, we had never expected that this thing would happen. But now, you know, we have helped a lot of people. We don't know how many people we have helped because these people, they've been helping day in and day out, these mm -hmm. volunteers. So this is something that we have done as Rotary Club of Yango and other clubs as well, like Rotary Club of Central Yango, and then also our club. We actually just donate medical equipment to a lot of uh, hospitals who are really in need of medical equipment. And also, and we as Rotary, we have done clean water projects and then also with community projects as part of our Rotary Club of Yama, uh, Rotary Club of Yango. Uh, we have uh, cervical cancer screening and also a uh, cleft lip and heart palate repair. Mm -hmm. And we have done educational projects. So we have done quite a lot of community projects mm -hmm. and in Myanmar. So, but the strongest thing that I have to tell you is that clean water project. And then I'm very, very proud of my club for doing the signature project, emergency medical responder training. So these are the milestones that Rotary um, Rotary Myanmar has created so far. Okay, one more question that uh, like a Rotary Club cannot be joined directly if someone is coming tomorrow and he say I would like to join Rotary Club. It's uh, he, it is by invitation, and why if why it is like this? Uh, you mean uh, uh, I I I beg your pardon. You know I'm not really quite clear about your question. No, my question is that suppose tomorrow someone is watching this program and he come to our Rotary Club, he cannot join like directly coming to just paying his fees. He has to be someone friend like you and me or any existing member. And then he has to come. So why we have put this clause and what is the reason behind that? All right. So as much as I know, as much as I, I have to answer this question, because Rotary is exclusive in a sense that, you know, once you become a Rotarian, we believe that we understand the core values of Rotary. Sometimes these people, probably they might be politically biased and they might be uh, religiously biased, you know. So even, you know, I mean, for self-interest, uh, we don't know. But when they come to the Rotary, there are rules and regulations of a Rotary club. So before they come, when they get invited by a Rotarian or a member from a club, we can explain to them about that, okay, this uh, club meeting and Rotary is about. So at least with that understanding when they join and they would have a better understanding about what a Rotary club is and what Rotary International is and what Rotary is about. That is the only reason, exclusive in the sense that it's not like you know we are better, we are superior and we are the elite. It's not that way. So that is actually for one, if he or she really wants to join Rotary, 
anywhere in the world, you know, any region. And even uh, right now, some of the uh, people from the, uh, some of those who are just watching this um, interview, live interview, probably they might be abroad, maybe in Australia, maybe in England, maybe somewhere else in the region. Just try to get to know a Rotary Club. And then, you know, I mean, they can actually just tell them that, yes, truly, genuinely, I really want to know more about Rotary. I really want to attend. I'm sure that members would, wel would welcome them. So that is one reason that there is a little, um, uh, I, I wouldn't call it a little rule. You know, there is a little clause that, you know, we have to, uh, we have to abide by. Okay, uh, another thing I will like, share my experience and then I will request you to also, when I have been last year in, uh, I think in January 19, when I was traveling, January 20, when I was traveling to Kerala in Tirvendram, so there was a one, I was in staying some five star hotel and then I have seen there is a one Rotary Club meeting is going on. And, uh, but being a Rotarian, I go and meet lot of people there. So that is one good thing. You can meet the people without invitation because you are a Rotarian. Nobody will say no to you and they are you are welcome. So this yes. make you like a very happy and that someone unknown place, if you are in some problem, definitely our Rotarian will help you. So that is my experience. Please share your experience and please explain this uh, benefit once you are a Rotarian for our viewers. Yes. That is the beauty of Rotary, Ravindra. You know, so once you become a Rotarian, that's why I mentioned even in my presentation that once you become a Rotarian and you would, um, for example, like you would be in Sydney and you would be in New York, okay? And then you just try to Google and then you see one Rotary club and then you can just go there. And once you become a Rotarian, you belong to the Rotary family then they will welcome you. So you, you feel really nice that somebody is welcoming you because they know that we are like-minded people. We are helping the people. So that is one reason. And then, like I told you, for example, like you get lost in a city, in a big city, and then you just try to Google some uh, Rotary Club. And then if you find it difficult, and you don't really know, uh, maybe um, you know, trans you need some kind of help in transportation, or you don't really know how to uh, get from A to B, etc. Rotarians all over the world, we are always very willing to help. And I have been also in a situation, for example, I not really my own experience, but uh, somebody, you know, I mean, he was actually here, and he doesn't really know where to go. He's a Rotarian without. Um, uh, knowing any one of us and then they got I, I think I can't really remember they have some kind of a flight uh, schedule or you know some problem and then they just try to reach out to me somehow from uh, Rotary Club of Yangon Facebook page and then we just try to help them so if you are not in Rotary it would be very difficult if you are in a strange country so that is the beauty of Rotary yeah I agree like once you are Rotarian you no need to prove your credential because once you are Rotarian, they know if you have joined Rotary, it means you have a good credential, then only you can be, be a Rotarian. Exactly. Okay, so, yeah. So in last thing, uh, like uh, what my experience says, I will request all those people, those have one uh, hunger and desire to do something for society. You are ready to share your good fortune what you have then you must join rotary because like i always tell they because currently we are living in a world where we are uh, we doesn't know how much money is enough yeah, that is a one that question is yeah because uh, i ask some people suppose you will get uh, some more money with that so what you will do they have no answer like uh, so we mostly people reach on that stage. What you will do? Suppose we have all basic thing currently. Maximum what you will do? You will buy a new car. You will change the brand. You may have a, another house, but the bed will going to remain same. Road is going to remain same. You go to BMW, you go to an Audi or you go to Nissan or any car. Road is going to remain same. Time is going to get same. So better if you have a desire to share your 
achievement whatever we are fortunate people because this covid has made so many people uh, they lost their job they lost their livelihood and they need definitely support from all of us so thank you hema for joining today evening you thank have you. thank a you lot. so much for inviting me so always yeah. so I, I just want to end by saying that mm -hmm. you know i really like that quote you know when i was just preparing mm -hmm. for this presentation it's nice to be important you know we feel important because we are leading but it's more important to be nice yes thank uh, you like i yeah just uh, i want to add one thing uh like gautam buddha says anything more than access is a poison so if it is a money it is a love anything in this world if you eat lot of salt you will die if you eat lot of sugar also you will die so keep it your life in balance whatever you got it share with the people who are underprivileged they are not so fortunate one another thing just before ending i want to tell you uh, it is not that you me and him or other people those have become rotarian and though are those are uh, slight they are successful it is not that we are more capable enough to other people there are people who are more capable than us they are more exactly. talented than us but still we reach because we have been there at right time at right place and exactly. we have a little little bit better luck so thank you good night keep watching for our health talk and for our talk Hope, hopefully to see you with new guest in next week thank you bye bye good night thank you ravindra thank, thank you thank you